anybody ever solve the mystery of why you were in that first grade? Nah, I don't know why, like, because they, they just kind of, I guess, messed it up or something, because I heard, like, they had a D tackle in the end group as well, and then they had me with the nose and the, and the, the tackle. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but they kind of just messed it up, but. Uh, no doubt, uh, for sure. Um, just, you know, finally getting, like, the combine over with and, you know, the pro days and just, you know, the work isn't done yet because we still got to work out for teams and stuff like that. But as far as testing goes, you know, I finally getting that out the way. And, you know, that was kind of just, like, a sigh of relief for me, so. Yeah, and it was really hard for me just because, like, I had to gain, like, 10, 10, 15 pounds, like, since the season ended. So, like, it was kind of hard. I was kind of, like, skeptical because I didn't know, like, if I was going to be able to still run fast, like, with the added weight and, um, you know, just, you know, making sure that I was having, like, a good time, you know, when I went out there and ran my 40 and, you know, a bunch of other stuff was just, you know, real key for me. What are you weighing? Right now I'm about, like, I weighed in at 248 today. Like, I left here, I was probably, like, 230, 235 around there. So, yeah, it was a lot of that. The combine, just having like formal interviews with teams. You know, they would either you know have a, have me drop stuff up that we ran, or we'll look at film and you know, or they'll draw something up, and then at the end of the meeting, they'll expect me to like you know like do the you know draw from verbatim and. You know, making sure I remember all that type of stuff. So it was, you know, they kind of test me a lot of my football knowledge for sure. I think you said something to, back towards like the beginning of the season about feeling like it was close to time and wanting to get on with this process and kind of be able to like help your mom out, you know, stuff like that. How big is, has this been in terms of a family feeling that you're going through getting ready for this? Yeah, no doubt. Just, you know, putting the work in that, you know, I was putting in, you know, for the, for the combine and pro day. Um, that, that was one thing in the back of my mom. It's my mom and my brother, you know. I know I know I got to help them out. I got to, you know, uh, pave way for my brother. Uh, I don't want my mom to ever have to work again. So um, that went in my, my mindset every day uh, going into training and making sure I need the numbers to hit to, you know, help with that goal. So. Was it a little odd coming back here considering how everything has changed around here in the last couple months? Uh, not really. Uh, I feel like a lot of the guys were still here. Um, the coaching staff, you know, a lot of the guys, you know, that have talked to me about it, it's just like, like a family, you know, atmosphere. Um, first day we came back, Coach V embraced us with open arms. All the coaches, uh, Coach Vest, Cubby, and Coach Bates, uh, Coach Chavez, and uh, just you know, a, c a couple other coaches. Uh, Valai, I think that's his name. Um, yeah, they they just came in with a bunch of energy, you know, welcoming us back home. Like like we're still playing for them. So, you know, you just got to appreciate stuff like that. And you know, I definitely think you know with this with these new guys here, you know, it's a lot to look forward to for sure. Um, I believe so. Um, there was a couple stuff that like was like kind of out of hand, but like just as far like financially wise, like I feel like you know players should be getting paid you know for the stuff that they do. So it's just a good saying. Like a lot of the guys that you know, worked hard, you know, made plays in the field, you know, they, they're getting the you know, reap the rewards of that of that benefit. So. What's your prime year mediation thinking? How do you think it compared to all those? Say that again. What's your prime year mediation? Yeah. No doubt. I mean, just being at OU, I feel like I've learned more life lessons than anything. Um, just from like the beginning of my redshirt freshman year till now, I feel like I've learned a lesson you know, every single year, and I've grown from all those lessons. So, um, definitely more life lessons I've you know I've gotten from being here than anything. Yeah, it was really big. You know, he hit he hit a lot of the numbers that we wanted to hit. Um, we got a group chat, so you know we'd be talking about you know stuff that we wanted to hit and things like that, of that nature. So, you know, he hit a lot of the numbers that he wanted to hit. Um, he, you know, he's a hard worker. You know, he's a guy that you know I knew when his time came to for doing a pro day or some sort of like that. You know, he was going to crush it, and you know, that's what he did today. So, you know, hard guy, hard working guy like that. You know, you saw it paid off today. What position they like outside guy? Um, well, it just depends like what team and what schemes we're running. Um, some guys want to be able to, you know, have me on the outside linebacker. Some guys want to have my hand in the dirt. Some guys want me to inside. Um, 
some guys want me to do all three, yeah, depending on what the packages are. So um, just depending on what teams are, are talking to me is to really determine what position I play. So <laughs> I prefer coming off the edge, but I'm very capable of doing all three. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly just taking it one day at a time and enjoying the process. You know, don't get too anxious. Don't have to worry about draft night and all that stuff. Just enjoy the process. You know, enjoy just you know trying to get better. Uh, try to, you know, just you know overall just you know just work on things you need to work on and you know don't worry about the uncontrollables with draft night and all that stuff. If there's one thing you came here, if you were somebody saying, how do I pick a school? What do you learn? Yeah, I mean, I, I won't even say, like, don't factor in, like, relationships with coaches because obviously that's one thing you got to have is a relationship with a coach. So I would definitely say that. And just make sure, like, it's the right place for you, whether you feel the family atmosphere when you come on a visit or, like, the way, like, coaches come and greet you, you know, making sure that you're a priority and making sure there's a family feel to it. And, you know, relationship with a coach has to be number one because that's going to be the guy that, that's going to have your back in situations and you know just having that trust between the coaches is definitely I would say a big thing for me. Last time you talked to Mike or texted him. I actually talked to him like right, right when I declared he texted me and we talked on the phone and just telling me how proud he was and stuff like that but yeah that was the last time me and him talked so. He's a brother now, right? Yeah Kentucky yeah he is yep yeah no doubt uh, and I'm happy for him you know he's continuing his coaching career um, I know he was really happy at FAU too, so I mean, you know, I'm really happy for him. He's just getting a lot of opportunities. So I don't know if the fans have made their peace with the, the coaches who yeah. were yesterday. They're still pretty pissed off. I know you know that. Yeah. What about you? Can you sort of understand what's going on there? Uh, just like as a, I respect it to where you know I understand he needs to look out for himself and his family. So that part of it I can also I can respect, and um, but there's just like. The way things were just handled, I feel like it could have been a little bit better, but I would never like fault him for you know wanting to do something that's best for his family. And I respect him still as a coach and a person because he was really good to me. He's helped me with a lot of stuff, and as long as well as Coach Grinch. So. You heard from any of them lately? Like, coach Grinch texted me like when it happened, kind of in a way, and just wanted to say well farewells and, and all that stuff. And but that's really it for the most part. Yeah. Uh, and, and going through that process, does it kind of teach you how teams view you and make you kind of understand, okay, well, I really do need to kind of work on yeah. this? Yeah. Well, no doubt, because going into meetings, like teams automatically know, like, your track record, you know, how you've been as a person when, you, when you've been here, um, things you've done in the past, you know, they know your weaknesses in the game. So they're going to do things to try and, like, kind of piss you off a little bit. So um, they're definitely going to try and, you know, get a reaction out of you, see how you react to certain stuff that they say. and. Um, but at the end of the day, they're just trying to get to know you as a person because they're trying to bring you into their building. So they want to know the guy they're bringing in. Is there anything shocking that came up in, in any of your interviews that we're just kind of like, I can't believe I'm being asked? I mean, it was just like a couple stuff. Like, um, I don't know. Like the Vikings, the Vikings like asked me a really weird question. I don't know if I can say it out here, but like, yeah. nah, I don't, nah, I can't. But I mean, there, there was definitely some weird questions for sure. Nah, nah. Yeah, it threw me off a little bit for sure. Yeah, I think so. Shoot. I don't know. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.